Hi everyone, my name is John David and I'm a graphic design major and architecture minor at Judson University. We recently did our midterm project up on the wall right now and I decided to make a video while making it. This is for a class called Drawing 2. Uh, I hope you like the video or at least learn something. Well, as you can tell, I started filming towards the end of the project with the GoPro set up on the broomstick. Um, all of the t analysis, choosing the placement, coming up with multiple thumbnails, and drawing in two-point perspective, which I did on the light table uh, with uh, my tracing paper below it with the two vanishing points on each side, um, has already been done by now. All that's left is to still do inking. Um, at this point, I think I did eight or nine hours of inking after that uh, point in the video. With all the graphite lines already mapped out, um, I have to constantly compare the original etching by Piranesi uh, with my objects and my creations and my extension to see how light reacts to texture in his drawing or in his etching and therefore apply a similar um, approach to mine. So, from beginning till end, I'll just list off all the materials that we used. Besides the chosen paper photocopy of a Piranesi original, drafting tape, trace paper, Bristol board, craft paper, uh, black Higgins ink, uh, the fountain pen, as you can see, uh, pencil sharpener, HB graphite pencil, or 2H if you are not as light. Um, I used a light table for tracing, three foot ruler, um, a set square, and of course, an eraser. So a little bit about the project and Piranesi. Uh, in his mid-60s, Piranesi created these 16 uh, etchings, so it's a series of 16, of uh, which uh, number two and number five were the newest ones, actually. Uh, but these were far more imaginative and unrealistic compositions compared to the slightly similar operatic stage plans of his time. Our professor had us uh, analyze a master artist understand the line making used and then repeat this imaginative extension in a perfected two-point perspective based on the pre-established composition.
about Piranesi. Uh, the Italians might call him a uh, Uomo Universalis. He was an Italian draftsman, architect, engraver, and archaeologist. Uh, born in October of 1720 in northern Italy, somewhat close to Venice. He also died uh, in Venice 50 year, 58 years later where um, he occasionally lived and worked. One out of series of total 16 etchings made by Giovanni Battista Piranesi, uh, Italian of course, coined the title Piranesi's Imaginary Carceri, which is Italian for imaginary prisons. Carceri means prisons. Um, their titles are Roman numerals, each one of the etchings, uh, though this one uh, has a conventional title of uh, the arch with a shell ornament, or number 11. Um, it was purchased by the University of Yale on the 2nd of May, 
So to compare the projects, um, his sheet was uh, originally 48 by 70 centimeters as it's on display, uh, which it compared to our original 11, number 11 drawing, which is 26 by 34 centimeters. So his is almost twice as big. Um, though our expansion of Pyrenees' drawing with the, you know, original in the middle or somewhere on the Bristol board, like over here, our expansion is a total of 89 by 56 centimeters or 35 by 22 inches for the Bristol board paper.